Hey Aquarius, welcome back to part two. So we're going to use the chakra tarot to get the mutual energy between the two of you. And, you know, I feel like you feel that you feel pretty confident about the fact that this is coming together or will be coming together. And I feel like this person knows what it is that they want to do. But this energy of juggling bothers me a little bit. I feel like they're either presenting that they don't know what to do or they're stalling. All right, so let's see. So this is the mutual energy of how you see each other. This is the mutual energy of how you feel about each other. This is the mutual energy of how you, you think about each other. And this is the mutual energy of any passion or action that's being taken. All right, so let's take a look. How you see each other mutually. All right, we have the world. So that's a very, you both can see this connection as coming together in a very, very satisfying way. You both can. So that tells me that this person is stalling for, for some reason. You know, it may be they're afraid to hurt somebody else. They might be breaking up their family. And, and you know, I mean, you can understand that. You know, they have a lot to lose, it feels like. All right, so mutual energy of how you feel. All right, so we have the Four of Swords. So <clears throat> you can see that this is surrounded by the green, which is the heart chakra, okay? So this is coming from a place of I love. And this is an energy of taking a minute to think about things. But it's coming from a loving place. You're both in this energy right now. It's like you're thinking your feelings. All right, so this is the mutual energy of what you're thinking. Look at that. Ten of Cups. You're both thinking that this could be just complete emotional fulfillment for both of you. And you notice it's surrounded by the yellow, which is the solar plexus chakra, which says, you know, it comes from a place of I can. I can make this happen. Okay, and that's really interesting and good when this is coming over the Two of Pentacles, this juggling energy. This person can make this happen. And this is what they're thinking about right along with you. If you're thinking this, they're thinking it. But again, I feel like this is really surrounded by the fact that they just have, they may have a lot to lose. And when I say a lot, you know, that's that means different things to different people. You know, some people, you know, it's so important to keep their family intact for, their, for the children's sake, this might have to do with children. And this might be something that they're never willing to break. In spite of the fact that they want this emotional fulfillment. Okay? But if it's, you know, for material goods or, you know, houses and money, you know, again... That's very, very important to some people. So there's a lot of factors that I feel are going into this. 
All right, so the mutual energy around passion or action, we have the King of Swords. Surrounded by purple, which is the crown chakra, okay, the energy of knowing, knowing the truth. You might both know the truth about this situation. It feels like you do. You know the circumstances that this person is in, and even if you don't, you might, you, you, you might be getting um, intuitive hits on what's going on with this person. You know, from, from a different perspective, this person might be making it a lot more difficult than they need to be. But again, it really depends on what's important to this person. And it's not to say that you're not. I feel like you're very important to this person. You know, is this person worried about what other people think? That's a big one. That is a big one for a lot of people. Public opinion. The perception of family members and friends. So you both know the truth here. And you know, it's just, it's just about how this person decides to move forward, really. All right, so let's see with the Oracle Chakra what we get. So the first card and the second card. First card we have, Soulmate. Notice the color of this card, which is red, which is the root chakra. So I feel like you guys have known this for a long time. So this is coming from a place of, I have, I have a soulmate. You guys both know this. All right. And then the second card here we have is impatience. You know, Aquarius, I feel like of all the signs, if there is one sign that I feel I get a repeated type of story from, it's you guys. Impatience. I don't blame you one bit, <laughs> but there is impatience on both people's ends for, I, I feel, for different reasons. It might be because you guys spend a lot of your time alone waiting for opportune times to spend time with this person. This person is impatient because they know they might be doing something that their heart really doesn't want to do. And they're having to give a lot of themselves to something, you know, that, you know, may not be you. It's, you know, I'm surprised that the impasse card didn't come out. Because it just, it does. It feels like you guys have been in this energy for a long time, and I, my heart goes out to you. There's a reason that this same type of energy keeps coming up. So, for you guys... I feel like this person holds the key. There's something that this person has to let go of in order to come your way. So the question that I'm asking for you all right now is, you know, what are the hidden 
factors here that you need to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom card from each of the decks that we've used, okay? So this is the first deck. That's the bottom card. Second deck. Whoops. Bottom card. I'm even using the Lenormand deck. Bottom card. Fourth deck. Bottom card. And then the Chakra Oracle deck. Bottom card. You know, I just, I feel your frustration around this. All right, so let's see. Any additional mes messages for Aquarius? All right, so we have the sun. Happiness, bliss. We have the four of pentacles, which is the energy of holding back. Holding back, bliss. Lenormand card, we have the house, which is stability, stability and growth. And then we have the five of swords, which is feeling like we've been left out in the cold. And then finally, the chakra card, we have, we have gratitude. And this is the third eye chakra in this deck. So you're coming from a place of I see. So I feel like what this is saying here I feel like this is split in two, okay? So somebody is holding back on their happiness and bliss. I feel like it's this person down here below. They just are. They are. For whatever their reasons are, they are. Over here, we have the Five of Swords. Somebody is conflict conflicted over leaving something that they feel is stable. This gratitude card, I want to get one more card for this. Service. I feel like this is the energy that spirit really wants you to be in because I feel like this whole scenario may be keeping you from doing the things that you would normally do to provide service and love and help for other people. You might not be in the attitude of gratitude right now because this has been frustrating you for a long time. Let's see. Romance angels, one for you, one for them. Somebody's just holding back. One for you. One for them. Very soon. I feel like that's something that you hear a lot. Clearly decide. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This person needs to get out of this Two of Pentacles energy. And then, well, actually, that's you, right? <laughs> Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. 
You know, I think either one could go for either of you. So I feel like this could happen or come together very soon if there is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You know, it feels like this person needs something to help them make a decision because they feel the soulmate connection. You know, we... I just feel like this person feels like they have a lot to lose. You know, and it may come to a conversation, you know, if this person feels that way, you know, it, it may not be something that you want to hold you up. Because I feel like it has for a while. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have. Part two. <laughs> Tried to give you as much as I could, and I hope it helps. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.